What's up guys, this is your boy Chad Hogan live and I'm hanging out with an old friend, the Virtual Boy, and I bring this system up because today I have the successor to that, a 3DS, and of course it's a nice shiny lovely little system by Nintendo. It's the successor to the original 3DS called the XL. I love it, the screen's big, but even still, as I got a new system, I'm playing a DS game, Pokemon Black 2 this week. It doesn't matter if you're black or white, because Pokemon Black 2 and Pokemon White 2 were released October 7th. Now the good deal about these games is that it's compatible on both systems and I'll tell you what, I've been enjoying the hell out of this deep RPG for about a week or so now. Wow! Chad Hogan live! Now it's kind of funny because Pokemon hasn't really changed over the years all that much and yet it's still as addictive as ever. I haven't played a game in the series since 2003, so I thought now would be a good time to pick up a game. And since it was released recently, even though there's been a few versions on DS which I hear are better from various friends, I just thought I'd take a look at the newest one to see what all the craze was about and where the franchise has ended up after all these years. And I must say I'm impressed. It still goes for that old school over the shoulder, or should I say over the head 2D look, but it's sprinkled in with background animations, camera movement, and a quasi three-dimensional area that you just feel at home with. Guys, let's face it, if you haven't caught on to the Pokemon bandwagon now, and I'm not saying I have, I don't have the Pokemon cards or special limited edition glow-in-the-dark Pikachu underwear that you can only order on Amazon.ca, then you're probably not going to jump on anytime soon. But if you don't mind a good grind or a good RPG and you don't mind feeling like a seven-year-old while you're playing that RPG, I do recommend Pokemon Black and White too. It's the fall gaming season and it's been pretty good this far with Dead or Alive 5, Tech and Tag Tournament 2, etc, etc. I honestly think this is probably the best Pokemon game I've played, but that's not saying much since I've only played three different Pokemon games. Well, it's been good reviewing games, and this old DS smashing crony looks forward to reviewing more games for you. For this time and next, this has been Chad Hogan Live, taking out the trash. Go for it. Fuck, man. Still good after all these years. I didn't mean that, sweetheart. You know daddy loves you. Well, this old park I grew up in back in the day, back in the old country. And, uh, you know, things change and things stay the same, you know? There's the old bocce ball court. We used to kind of tease the old men there and I feel a little bad now because I wouldn't want to be teased if I were playing a game of, you know, bocce ball or whatever. And uh, we're just cleaning up some trash here at Sam Anson Park. I, I pulled out a virtual boy out of the garbage can. It's very, very wonderful. I was gonna see if we can rake some leaves, but it looks like all the trash is picked up and the park's actually pretty good. The only one polluting here is Mother Nature. <laughs> Get it, Mother Nature? <laughs> That was a funny joke, wasn't it? <laughs> <coughs> Fuck, I hate this system. Oh well. It broke on me years ago, and it's breaking me again. This was an interesting game, Black Galactic Pinball. Can you believe this was 50 bucks? Can you believe this thing was $300 when it came out? I literally got it for 30. Like it's it's cool and all. Questions and service 1-800-255-3700. Nintendo authorized repair centers. You know what? No, you know what? We're going to call them. We're going to call them right now. And I'm going to ask them to fix my virtual boy. And it's always so stupid. You know, they ask you if you want English or French or Spanish if it's American and you pick your language and then you got to go through the dialing, the auto, the auto voice. I'm just going to hit zero until I get to customer service. It's telling me to hold so we're, we're going to talk to someone in just a quick second and uh, if you don't know what this is, this is a relic. This is Virtual Boy. The number's actually working. I think it's Nintendo's number still to this. Hello? Hi. 
Hi, this is Chad Hogan live. Ch Chad Hogan live, can you hear me? Sorry, I'm outside. Um, I was playing with my virtual boy and I think I broke it. My virtual boy. Yes, it's made by Nintendo. Yeah, I know it's been discontinued, but, but it still worked. And it has your questions and service Nintendo Authorized Repair Center with even the trademark logo on it and a picture of Mario holding... There's a picture of Mario holding a screwdriver. I was wondering if Mario could maybe fix it. I'll take Luigi at this point. I want my virtual boy... No, I know you don't fit... You don't, you don't fix Virtual Boys anymore? What about Game Boys? You know what? Put Bill Gates on the phone. I want to speak to him immediately. No. Nope. Hello? Hello? Well, that's fine. I think they hung up on me. So if you have a Virtual Boy and you broke it, I guess the lesson learned here is that you won't get it fixed. So it's really, it's just a waste of money. So What's the point of getting anything, ever? All right, this will show those troglodytes.